ýmislegt <laughs> hægt að gera og en það er þetta sýning meira svona upprifjun svona ammali sýning ég ætla að hafa ammali skörgu og bjóða öllum en það er náttúrulega ég bara gera það er seinna næsta ári, það næsta ári eitthvað tíman og ó oh, Born Giorno Hello from Italy Hi Wow Thank you. This is uh, my exhibition. Maybe I run through it in English as well. Why not? Uh, this is like uh, because I was uh, I'm 60 this year uh, in July. I, I, I put up an uh, exhibition here in Hlutverka Setter. Hlutverka Setter is like a uh, uh, activity center. I work in this activity center and we always have, uh, very often, have some exhibition and, uh, and they're mostly from the people that come here and use the facility and I just will start in English. <laughs> oh, thank you! <laughs> you look like 40. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you! Oh boy, oh, it's too much for me. Anyway, this is the oldest one from uh, when I was four years old. My mother, she wrote this and this is like December 64. This is my first drawing <laughs> or first uh, artwork. This is gouache and, and yeah, this and the, here is my mother's work. She was very talented. And yeah, and, and I will tell you more about her. Uh, and this is uh, my work from when I was 16 years old. Already I started on Icelandic horse. Here, I'm talking about, yeah, here. Uh, on the back side of this artwork is this. And this is my uh, sister, and she has helped me a lot through the years. So I, I love to have her work on the backside of, uh, of my first work. And here's my, uh, the calligraphy from my mother. She was very talented. Uh, and I was showing very early on uh, that I could draw. I'm sure my uh, my teacher helped me a little bit. Oh, a little bit, maybe a, bit, a lot. I don't know. I don't remember. But uh, this is when I was in fourth grade. So, and here I am drawing up uh, <laughs> when I was quite young, 14 or 16 or something like that. And here also is another one from when I was 16 years old. And this is also from the, when I was 16 years old, and this is the flower my mother was given. And it, uh, the flower remains alive because I drew it. Ah, yeah. And here are the horses. I already started ho uh, drawing horses and painting horses. And this reminds me of the time when I was with my friend, Christine. Uh, she has a website called Hesta Saga, and there you can, if you have uh, stories from Iceland or from uh, Icelandic stories about Icelandic horse or, or something, uh, you can uh, post the, you can, yeah, send her these stories, or you want to uh, to read some stories because they are they are in three languages. They are in, in Icelandic, uh, English and German. So that's, uh, yeah, that's a very cool sight. I really, it's really, and I've been drawing uh, horses for, sometimes for, for, the, for her. And here is also from that bird time. I was drawing a, or doing in gouache uh, or, or water, I don't know, but they are very, quite thick. They are like gouache. Uh, and and that's old drawings but here we have n n recent work i'm i'm i was trying 
uh, collage and an acrylic. I was trying that, that out since I'm always fixed on horses. <laughs> All the thing I do is, is collages and, and that's a lot about women and, and sometimes fun, uh, like sci-fi and fun art. And I mix them together and stuff like that. As you see here, this is very like I think I think she's what uh, it's Rome, isn't it Rome? Uh, <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, you're so so. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, I keep on going. I I I don't care. I don't know if I can handle re reading all your comments because I get overwhelmed. But. Uh, She's watching over Rome, I think, and she has a lot of stuff in her hair. It took a long time, like colleges do often, but they are very cheap to do, but they are very time consuming. Here we have one of the work I did here in, in uh, uh, Anna, the, one of the teachers. She's taught me so much. And uh, this is one of the uh, old masters and the techniques of the old masters we did, I did here. Uh, 2016, yes. And here is again more watercolors I learned here, like when, uh, 2015. This is the, one of the first works, uh, artwork I did uh, when I was learning to do watercolors and here's the check the youtube i do some uh, my brother is a guitarist and composer and he's living in sweden and i do sometimes uh, like watercolors or collage and have his music and and it makes a very nice art uh, sort of, yeah, just listen to it and enjoy the colors. And and this is all on Hidden Maria YouTube channel. I'm Hidden Maria everywhere. So if you if you just put Hidden Maria, I'm sure you can find it all of it in, in my Instagram, my YouTube, or whatever. And this is from Mother's Day. I started last year to do work. For Mother's Day. I love to do that. It's very nice to use, you know, whatever is going on and, and use that. Here's a old work from when I was in, in, the, in the East, near uh, This is, I was always drawing the mountain there with uh, brown chalk, as it's called. Big Bertha, why that? Why not? I'm, she's soft and, and, and I love Big Butt. Uh, why not? Women should be a little bit curvy and, and, and yeah, I love curvy women. Uh, so, just check out Rupens and then you know why her butt is so big. Yeah, okay. Uh, this is one of my first in in, um, in pastel, soft pastel, I learned here with Svava. There are two of them, teachers here, art teachers, and, and, and I've learned so much from them. This is also rather one of the first also. And this is from the time, actually my first exhibition 2014, sort of first after I sort of revolutionary. <laughs> Uh, uh, exhibition because I, I was starting to appreciate myself or working, f yeah, doing something for myself. And uh, uh, this is uh, the place I was, uh, uh, exhibition was in a place called Trekaslo, that means a dragon. It's a uh, dragon path, if I translate it. And it's, uh, yeah. And this is from that time. And 
here we have Colas, older one. As you see, they can be very funny. And this is from the from the uh, uh, Inktober. <gasps> Inktober is starting. Ooh, I'm I'm going to be. I'm very excited to start. And here is actually also I put it up because of the, of the pan pastel. I, I I haven't used very much, but I should use them more. They are very interesting to use as well. But they are good also to be have as a background. And here I have a, like a different kind of medium. So <laughs> to um, oh oh my, yeah. I, I actually I I I have I have been also I I rather I'm rather sort of strong built as well, so thank you thank you because I I practice karate so uh, you cannot be uh, uh, very thin there that's then you're not standing tall and strong. I love standing tall and strong or small and strong it doesn't matter. Yeah, and uh, here my recent uh, work, uh, this is coffee, I think, I think this one is coffee, coffee and, uh, and watercolor. I do some work in, in coffee, I love working in coffee. Um, they are rather new, and this is old, old, this is like a horse wall, I did have horse wall. <laughs> And this is uh, oh, the oldest one. It's like a centerpiece. Uh, so, here is my sheep. I did. I am also a member of the Icelandic Watercolor Guild. And uh, I did this one last year when I was in that. There. And here is one of my soft pastels. So... Uh, this is also on YouTube. You can see when I'm doing this one. This is when I was starting the YouTube uh, channel, you know, doing some artwork and showing my uh, uh, how I do it. This is like a start. No, yeah. I thought they were turning me off. No, 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 no. Uh, but we are going to be quick here. Uh, and here is from the last elections. <laughs> Colossus don't have to be very uh, complicated. They can be easy. And this is from 2004 or 5, this wood work. This is another one for the Mother's Day. And, ooh, yee! <laughs> Stylish dragon. The colors of the sheep draw is amazing. I love it. Oh, yeah. I love it too. I love to use colors. Uh, and here is the the one from what thread? Yeah, 2013. It's when was when I was in school and I was learning the pottery and stuff, you know, with clay and all that stuff. And this is uh, recent. I love this uh, try the the uh, biro pen because then you just draw straight on and then using the the markers with it and here also i have what i did in in uh, 2005 or so i did some uh, all kinds of like uh, from uh, wood or whatever this is a coconut i carved out and uh, messy work but uh, actually yeah not you know it you don't need so much to do that, just a very good drill and just uh, have the coconut very securely tightened somehow. Then you, then you can do it. And a good drill, yes. Uh, and uh, here are horses. This is uh, older work I did. This is more cartoony, like illustration. Uh, I love that too. But, uh, okay. Be nice to do that again. And I'd be sewing through the time as well. Um, the, before I was sewing a lot and doing quilts and stuff, and then I did this thing, this piece. This is like me, my kids. I'm a rati person. 
No, I, I'm, I'm born on the, on the year of the rat, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, and here are the horses I did last summer. And Holar in the north, with, I, I, uh, I met my friend Christine. And I was very much thinking about horses and sheep and stuff. And just was uh, doing things like that since I have to practice and practice and practice to do some horses and here the older stuff I have and this is my old stuff from school and I think I was 12 or something, no 11 years old or something um, yeah <laughs> it's a funny to watch things like that, but yeah, it's, uh, it's very nice. <laughs> and here is also more from my mother. She did a lot of things. She did uh, poems and, and music and all kinds of very, so much. I don't know if we do something about that or not. Or not. I don't know, we'll see. But it's uh, beautiful to have, just to sort of, yeah, remember. And here's my quilt I did for them, a long time ago, when I was in quilting. And this is for my mom and dad. And they were singing, they were in a choir. My father was a lot for the birds. He taught me a lot about birds. And he had a lot of books. He was. He was the one in horses. His brother had horses, so, so we went there a lot. He, he was, yeah, shoeing the horses. He was very, quite, quite good at that. So, so he always went there to do his brother's, uh, for his brother, uh, and put horses, uh, new shoes on the horses. And, and so on and so forth. And uh, here is my mother's ink and her typewriting, typewriter, yes. And her stack of pancakes well, when I was young. Yeah, there's my mom and dad. There's my crazy quilt. And from that time of my quilting time, and then I have the, the so my acrylics. I want to do more in, uh, in acrylics. Uh, it's I haven't done very much, but uh, I definitely want to do more. So also I put this exhibition to remind you what I want to do in the future. So um, especially if they like bright colors like this. So I love that. And here's my palette knife oil painting. I do just the oil painting here in Lutherkasetter since it's always some smell. Even if you have a odorless oil painting still you have always some smell. So I'd rather do it just here. And I don't have any oil or any color of that uh, at home. I just have the acrylic and then watercolors and colors and pastel or whatever. And uh, Here's uh, from the wood carving I learned when I was 17 years old. Yeah, I did that. That's uh, why I learned, went to school and wanted to learn uh, carpentry, but I just was there for one year. But I did, uh, in the end, I know how to do the machines and stuff. So I learned some. You always learn something, something. even if you don't finish your schooling, you always, always learn something in life so that's my exhibition and and uh, i'm so happy to see everybody from italy or wherever you are it's such uh, yeah it's just nice really really nice and uh thank you for Thank you for being here. <laughs> now I'm, I'm getting finished and I'm going home. 
and uh, this has been very nice time with you guys and I didn't show you my uh, I have more here stuff but uh, I will be having an exhibition again next year so but that's going to be in yeah you know, yeah if you're not on, in Iceland so oh, I don't know Atlava uh, fyrir ykkur öll uh, þetta er að vera æðislegt og ég er þegar búin að verð með sýningu í gróttu á næsta ári þannig að það er að vona að það sé hægt meira að koma þá þannig að, að, að það verði betra við verðum bara að sjá til hvað, hvað verður hmm. but I, I really like this because it's COVID and all that and, and, and uh, um, yeah, we have to do something, we artists and, and all, we, we, we can, yeah, this is one way of doing things, that's just showing you what, at least I'm showing you what I'm doing, and uh, it's been very nice, so I have to say goodbye, og allir saman, byrð helsikur, og tjáu, og, og hérna, Á vítu sinn og, og, og whatever, masalama, uh -huh. ég veit ekki, uh -huh. bæ bæ. Oh yes, já, ég er með WhatsApp, ég, uh, ég er Maria Gísladóttir, og oh. I will try. I will try to find you. Okay. I, uh, Matteo, yeah. Okay. I, I will try to, to, to have uh, contact you in, in WhatsApp. Okay. Bye bye. Matteo Shifendi. Okay. <laughs>